Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at a uh, brand new synth from Ice Gear, or Ice Works, um, a Chronica, and it's a Chronica is a clockwork synthesizer, that's what it's calling itself. And I love anything clockwork, and I love all of the uh, Ice Gear synths as well. Uh, they are they are very kind of, they have a feel, you know, like a percussive feel. So let me tell you what I'm doing here, so you have a... Have a an idea of the MIDI. I've keep an eye on the DSP as well, which I haven't done. It's only running three percent. I've got three Chronicas. Um, now I'm guessing it's not Chronica. I'm guessing it's Chronica, as in Chronograph, because they're calling it a Clockwork synth. But hey, you know I might be wrong. <clears throat> it wouldn't be the first time. Um, okay, so I have three. So what I have done here is this first one. I have got it MIDI to my little micro key here. This, uh, this one here, and then um, th this one here, I have got MIDI to my oxygen keyboard, and then this third one, I have got it rooted to my Mini Brute synth. Um, but the audio, I'm using the Mini Brute as a MIDI controller, not as a as its own sound. So it, it's polyphonic when it's a MIDI controller. Okay, that's it. So, um, yeah, here we go. Uh, so this is, I'm just going to give you a quick blast through some of these sounds with um, with the three of them. So I'm going to, uh, this, uh, So it's very cool. So this first one, I'm gonna. If you're not sure how to switch the arpeggiator on and hold and stuff, it's here. It's just in a little corner, so you can just switch the arp on and hold. And then I'll set this little sequence going. And then play these two sort of thing. Okay, so <clears throat> so it, I mean MIDI works great, not a problem. I'm using a, a USB. But I've just got a USB powered hub. First time, great. <laughs> Can finally run lots of MIDI gear at the same time. So anyway, let's have a look at what we've got going on here. Oh, let's go back. Sorry. Um, you don't know what am I doing? I don't. Oh, here we go. Right. Seriously. Right, uh, close this. Where's me? Ah, here we go. Factory <laughs> presets. Right, so it, it's it's works like um, 
Maybe if I show you on this one. I'm not sure which one I'm playing here. So that's the Mini Brute one. Okay, factory. So this one. So the cool thing about this works is you can scroll along for all the different parameters as an AUV3. And you have these various things like uh, particles and the admitters, um, emitter particle. Um, you have your like triggering speeds, LFO. Uh, particle, and then you have admitter. And then you have delay. You can add noise in as well. Now the other thing to remember is like it's like four it's like four oscillators in one on one patch. So we can turn off like three of those for instance. And then we can just bring them back in slowly and each one we time we select Might like the sound of that one. We can edit that one by selecting the A, B, C, or D number corresponding to the other lit on and off switch. So you can see that's why you can build up super complex sounds. So you can make some adjustments to. Not really sure what I'm doing here. And then you could bring the other one and make it slightly detuned. And then you could bring them all back in. So you've got a lot of control over messing around with each individual patch and then you can save your own. So, I mean, some of the sounds are, are absolutely brilliant. Listen to this. That's a nice sound, a sound that's suited to the Mini Brute. Thank <laughs> you. 
So you see, so you see, it's pretty cool beans. Cool beans. As I trekked across the ice field. I encountered, I encountered many strange, many strange and wonderful creatures. creatures. And they were all, and they were all, made a, made a clockwork, clockwork. All right, all right, all right. I think it's great. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Chronica, which is absolutely great. But, you know, the cool thing is, the cool, cool thing is, um, it's, with the fact that it's a UV3, it's standalone as well. Also, um, don't forget this little tip here if you can't find your hold and things from this, the desktop version. The, the the cool thing is that you can mess around with all this cool stuff, you know, and get a feel for how it works. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm only just learning subtractive synthesis. Never mind all this technical, although it does look quite similar, <laughs> technical stuff. Anyway, it, it also has, a, remember, uh, the um, superb uh, arpeggiator as well that uh, I ski use. You can do it like you can mass up the screen proper look. By the looks of it, yeah. How do we get out of that? Nah, ah, the little X there. So you've got great big chunky super duper huge controls if you want. I think that's quite nice actually. I think for the for the the, the people who are suffering with sight like me, I think that's quite quite a good thing. Chronica Clockwork Synthesizer from Iceworks, or is it Ice Gear? I'm not quite sure. I think they I think it's the same people. I think they just change things around a bit. Thanks for watching, guys. There'll be links in the description for Chronica. If you would like to uh, buy it via my link, I get a small commission from Apple. Please give the video a thumbs up um, if you liked it. And or consider subscribing to the channel or becoming a Patreon. And that all support, helps support the scientist and me. So thank you very much. And I will see you guys later.